Welcome to Mixed Minds. Today we'll discuss the poem Tears of Nature uh, by Grammy King. Grammy King was an Australian uh, poet and he was basically famous for his uh, printmaker. It is said that he was the master of Australian printmaker. So he brought this revival of printmaking in Australia in around 1960s. So he wrote this poem, Tears of Nature, which talks about uh, the problems that are happening in with nature, related to nature, and how the natural resources are uh, getting extinct day by day. Tears of Nature. I think I just heard Mother Nature cry, or was, or was it just one more broken, falling tree? You would think we would learn as time goes speeding by. This first stanza talks about that, that the speaker of the poem is as if he's hearing that the Mother Nature is crying, and he can feel her cry because the reason of her crying is that the trees are fa falling. The trees are being cut for industrial or for for construction or for any reason. The deforestation is taking place. And in the last uh, line of the stanza, it says that we would learn as time goes by so that we are ignoring people. We do not understand the problems that the nature is facing and how it is dangerous for the humankind that the deforestation is taking place and we are on a massive scale, we are cutting trees, irrespective of the fact that how much how much uh, decrease in the forestation, afforestation is taking place and we are not planting trees, but instead we are cutting them down day by day for construction purposes or for any other purpose. So, so it is a very huge loss to the nature and to the humankind because the oxygen level and all that natural balance is being manipulated and it is damaged, which is very much wrong and it brings a vast impact on the natural life and on the nature. They tell us there's a big hole in the sky. We won't believe in something we can't see. I think I just heard mother nature cry. In the, in the second stanza, the big hole that is mentioned is basically, uh, it is referring to the ozone layer. Now, ozone layer is basically made of oxygen um, trioxide. It is a trioxide. So it has, it, it is basically, uh, this ozone layer helps the, to stop the radiation uh, that are coming directly from the sun to the earth. So it helps in order to stop those radiation or the ultraviolet rays from getting into the earth, which can cause a vast damage to the earth because the radiations are very of high scale. So this hole that is coming in ozone layer, it it prevents the stoppage. It, it does not help to stop the uh, radiation. In fact, it if there is a hole in the ozone layer, which is because of the uh, the lack of uh, oxygen trioxide, so the ozone layer is being uh, there is a misbalance of ozone layer, and there's this hole being created due to which the radiations come directly to the earth, and it is very much harmful for the earth and the human life. But we, we are regardless of these things. Those scientists and the technological changes that have taken place over time are reminding us that we should take necessary actions and necessary steps for the prevention of it. We shouldn't let these holes that is, are taking place in ozone layer get bigger and it, should, it shouldn't increase. In fact, we should try to take certain measures through which these can be decreased or we could prevent it. So we are uh, turning our deaf ears towards all these warnings, scientific warnings, because uh, we believe that whatever is in front of our eyes, that is the truth. And whatever we cannot see is not true. So that is a big lie that humans are facing. Humans should be more understanding because due to the technological changes and the technology and the advancements in scientific uh, research, 
we know that the ozone layer is uh, having arguing that something that we cannot see we won't believe that that is the wrong concept of humans that whatever we cannot see we won't nature is crying because it is being affected directly coal fired chimneys reaching up so high even though the solar power is free you would think we would learn as time goes speeding by so the coal chimneys it is basically saying that the coal also manipulates the oxygen levels and it also like it releases different gases which are harmful when coal is used so it it brings uh, it radiates it produces harmful gases which is harmful for human life and for nature because it increases the level of carbon dioxide in the um, atmosphere and the oxygen levels goes down so we have the solar power nowadays we have the solar system solar power we can use that with solar energy is free of cost we can there are so many technology technologies that have taken place that we can use solar energy and we can have whatever we can do with that we shouldn't you we should minimize the use of coal and we should bring less damage to the earth we developed rocket ships that fly but still can't stop pollution of the sea i think i just heard mother nature cry over here also it's very important that we talk about that the rockets are being uh, made different ships are being made and uh, satellites and everything uh, are being made and you're sending rockets to the space and they're flying but we do not care about the problems that are on land we are thinking about flying high in the sky but we are not catering the problems that are happening in the land that is the sea we are unable to stop the sea pollution which is a very big factor it is important factor that and problem where many diseases are being caused marine life is at danger due to this pollution in the sea from the industries and from the factories all the waste material directly and fuels they directly go into the sea they are disposed of into the sea which which kills the marine life it brings damage to the marine life it destroys the sea water it it gets contaminated so so the human beings even human beings they are at loss that the sea water which used to be fresh and clean that is being contaminated and different problems are being uh, arised by that different medical problems and diseases take place by that so the mother nature is crying out that why are we not taking care of these problems why don't we take care of nature why don't we try to solve the problems that are in our society that are on the earth that are these are all environmental problems environmental problems need to be catered first then we should move on to other things headlines one more species set to die keep it quiet use diplomacy you would think we would learn as time goes speeding by over here it is talking about the animal species uh, which are getting extinct day by day and the animals are dying and we even we are not trying to we are not trying to protect animals the wildlife we we are not giving them friendly wildlife environment we are not providing them in fact what people are doing they they kill extinct species this we don't protect animal species and they are getting extinct day by day what we use that we don't even talk about these issues we use diplomacy as over here it is mentioned that we just keep quiet we keep quiet as if it's not bothering us we we don't even care about animal life we don't care about wildlife whereas we should try to take measures and we should prevent them from getting extinct worry about future pass it by how can per preservation start with me i think i just heard mother nature cry you would think we would learn as time goes speeding by in this last stanza it is saying worry about future this is a question mark 
that we we it's asking the speaker is asking as if worry about future are, are we worrying about future no we're just letting our time go by and we we are thinking we are ignorant we think that with the pass, passing of time we will get to know what losses or what it has given the impact on us but we are unable to learn we are unable to learn in the present time that what are the problems how we should cater them how we should solve them we think that with time everything will be solved but that that is not how it is it happens because if you don't make an effort to to solve it how is it going to be solved so the problems if we are worried about our future our life about nature about environmental issues if we are worried about all those things so we should try to an individual can make a, a difference too an individual on individual basis we should change our mentality we should change our mindset we should try to move towards the positive side of the society that we try to solve these problems into our mental problems we should try to raise our voices against whatever harm that has been created to the environment and then we should try and we should bring about different solutions in order to cater those problems in order to solve those problems because nowadays in advancement has taken so much place that we can do much better but we are just ignorant we think that others there are many authorities many people we just leave things on others we think that they will do it others will try to solve the problem but that is not how things happen we have to take the initiative in order to save earth from from the problems to get more and more until the end thank you